Hi DVDs, welcome. Today we're going to be doing a review on Disney's Miss Marvel. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Now let's get into it. Kamala, look around! They're never going to accept me and they'll never accept you either! My mom was right. This isn't my home. But she saved it for you! So there was a lot to like and dislike about this series, but I'll start with my likes. What are you guys wearing? What are you wearing? I really, really love the character Kamala Khan. I thought that this was like, I thought that she was quirky, fun, very animated, and gorgeous. I know this was Iman Vellani's first major role, and I think she did a great job bringing this character to life. I loved that they leaned into the Pakistani Muslim culture and religion. If you're gonna do something, do it well, and they definitely weren't afraid to showcase the culture and the religion in all aspects, and I respect that. I love the music choices. They get me entertained throughout the series, with the exception of one, which was the Bon Jovi um, song. I think they did a great job and I love the Bon Jovi song, I just didn't think that it fit the fight scene that they put it against. They just wanted to throw that in because it was her mom's favorite musician and I think they missed the mark. They could have put that song somewhere else and it would have fit better. Beta, you were just so perfect. That's what Kamal means in Arabic, perfect. But in Urdu it's more like... What's the word? Wonder. Marvel. Kamal means Marvel. Love that she ended up getting her superhero name from her dad. I thought that was sweet. I think he's a cool dad. I like the little cartoon animations that were happening whenever she was like making plans or just chatting with Bruno. I thought that was cute. The women in this were absolutely stunning. Whenever Nakia was on screen, I was bedazzled. She's beautiful and it doesn't hurt that she shares the same name as my daughter. But the women in this were gorgeous and beautifully cast. There's no big Hulk, little Hulk. This is not They're a all heroes. This is mine and Bruno's thing, okay? Come on, Betsy. Can't you make an exception for Abu? I can't wear a shoulder kameez to Avenger Khan, okay? And, and you can't come with me. Not just like that because it is so humiliating. Now that we've talked about some of the good, how about we deal with some of the bad? <laughs> I could not tell who this was marketed to. It, it was either 16 to 25 year olds or it was 25 year olds and older. I think they missed the mark because they tried to reach everyone and it, maybe it's just me but they didn't do it for me. Even though I liked the cartoon animation for most of it, I did not like the visual effects for hers and Cameron's powers. It looked to me like what maybe a bad acid trip would look like i don't know i just i just don't know i i don't know the word to describe this but i was not a fan at all i did not like it the villains were pretty weak um for people who have been on earth for supposedly 100 years and jeans i mean jeans are supposed to be godlike right aka clandestines they were pretty weak and their storyline was it was pathetic to me i did not get why they went all crazy just be like it just didn't make sense to me i feel like they could have made stronger plots for these villains i made them a little stronger as well they seemed to rush the story and ended up not really going anywhere with it they really don't explain a bunch of loopholes and it doesn't look like we're gonna get any explanations anytime soon it's an origin story and they just want to bring her out so they can put her in the next movie and that's what we're getting we're also meant to believe that a bunch of untrained teenagers plus one older brother took on an entire group of trained military men and were able to distract them for that long what is this stranger things no 
Thank you, miss. Throughout the series, they really try to get you in the fills, but end up missing the mark completely and distracting from the main story. It just didn't work for me. Check this out. A teenage girl at AvengerCon. AvengerCon? A cosplayer with too much time on their hands. Not this one. I've never seen powers like that. Oh. Yeah, bring her in. Also, Alicia Reina, who plays Agent Sadie, must have rubbed someone the wrong way because not only was her character borderline racist, but they turned a beautiful woman into the wicked bitch of the West. They did her dirty with the makeup choices for sure. I don't know who she pissed off, but they got her good man. I wasn't a big fan of the love triangle between Kamala, Cameron, and Bruno, but this was true to the comics, so I'm not really gonna complain about it too much. All in all, there was much I can dislike about this, but also a lot that I can like, so that was enough for me to say that this was an okay series. On a DVD scale, it's a 7 out of 10 and a can watch. It's only 6 40 minute episodes. With 10 minutes for recaps and 10 minutes for credits, it's really only 20 minutes per episode. And if a 7 out of 10 is not enough for you to invest time in seeing it, you can patiently wait for the Marvels, which is coming out in 2023, where Carol Danvers, aka Captain Marvel, Monica Rambo, aka Photon, and Kamala Khan, aka Miss Marvel, will reprise their roles. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. I'll see you in the next one.